Trump administration is undoing another series of Obama-era reforms. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced he is expanding the government authority to seize money and property linked to criminal activity. He says civil asset forfeiture is crucial to dismantling criminal and terrorist organizations and insists that policies will be in place to protect victims of these crimes. Law-abiding people whose property is used without their knowledge or without their consent should not be punished or taken uh, because of crimes that someone else has committed. Civil rights groups oppose the move, saying police agencies have seized and sold property from people who were never arrested or convicted for their own financial gain. Well, let's look at another example of abuse of the police power in America today. I understand that uh, earlier this morning, the Justice Department announced a new federal policy to help state and local police officers take cash and property from anybody suspected of a crime, even without arresting them, even without charging them with a the crime, and even without an arrest warrant, reversing an Obama administration rule that was put in place because of rampant abuse of people's rights across the country. This is the United States of America. The police should not be able to stop people on the street, in their cars, or at their homes, and say, I think that the money that you have doesn't really belong to you. I think the condo you have doesn't belong to you. I think the car you have doesn't belong to you. I think your property looks suspect. We're going to seize it, and then we're going to hold it, and you've got the burden of coming to sue us to prove that your property is innocent. Without charging them with a crime, without arresting them, without using a search warrant. And this is what Attorney General Sessions wants to do with the Orwellian new order that he handed down today. He wants to get the federal government back into the business of working with state and local governments to simply declare people's property and their money presumptively guilty. And then they've got to go out and hire a lawyer and go to court and prove that their property or money is clean within the eyes of the government. But whatever happened to due process? In, under our Constitution, we are presumed to be innocent of crimes. And our property should be presumed to be innocent of crimes if there's no legal process at all to condemn our property or to cast a shadow of criminal suspicion over it. 